Yeah, good morning YouTube. Uh, here's that uh, Craftsman C3 battery pack that I tore apart and these are the six cells that were somewhat good. Uh, they're not very good. I measured capacities of in the 600 milliamp hour range for the pair of cells so I did not separate these out partly because they didn't check out all that high. They did uh, take charge and I, I tested that on the IMAX B6 charged up or discharged and charged uh, each pair of cells separately. I took two of the cells out of uh, one of the other packs that I uh, had and these were the ones that tested out the lowest. And I think this one was 822 milliamp hours and then that cell there tested out at, at 780 so these were my two weakest cells. I don't know if that shows up on camera there or not, but uh, it's a Sanyo cell, 18650SA, and then an L48A. It's just an embossing on the heat shrink. But what I did, I was able to, if you can see that, bend these tabs that I cut back over and then solder each one in, uh, soldered the I just used two cells, one on each position, since these two cells are better than all uh, each pair of those cells. And this will still fit back in the battery pack here, and I can plug in the uh, fuel gauge, and I'm getting a uh, yellow. I've charged it up fully, and then it's been sitting a week or so, maybe two weeks since I charged it, so it's kind of down a little bit but at least now I've got a one of these early Craftsman C3 uh, extended capacity packs that I can kind of play with and uh, see how it charges and you know since it's all torn apart I can measure voltages and and you know like probe the uh, MOSFET pins and I haven't quite decided what I want to test or how to test it yet so still working on that a little bit but at least I have one pack that is uh, you know semi-functional if you run the pack dead it kind of goes into a sleep mode and then there has to be something done to these side pins to get it to get that chip to wake up and turn on one of the MOSFETs so you can then charge the battery. So I will uh, have to think about this, start playing with it, and see what I can come up with. Because what I really need to see is what, um, you know, have this thing shut off and then see what it takes to wake it up and see what happens when it does wake up. So yeah, there's, there's some still some mysteries in here because uh, you know this one I probably won't use for power tools or anything because it's you know it's pretty uh, pretty damaged as far as the cells uh, but I'll try to rebuild some of my other packs so here's my uh, prototype for the upgraded battery packs I'll, I'll be putting a an XT60 connector into the top plate uh, I'm going to remove the resistor. I put that in to enable charging in the Craftsman charger, but I'll show you in another video that didn't work too well. So I've got to get rid of that resistor and basically leave these two side terminals disconnected. And then I'll be putting a LiPo battery pack, 2450 milliamp hour pack inside here. So that'll be my... Uh, my upgraded um, battery to actually use. So I'll be modifying some of these cases to uh, hold the lipo packs like I did on the Black & Decker. So anyway, I've got a semi-functional uh, battery and I'll see if it actually can power something here.